Michael with Swiss Watch Expo. Coming up, we have the ultimate adventurer watches. Whether you're an adventurer in spirit, in mind, or in reality, the Breitling Avenger and Super Avenger might be the watch for you. As you know, Breitling is a fascinating company and they uh, took the uh, spirit of the chronomat from the 1950s and updated it in 2001. They came out with the Avenger. And it's an interesting watch because it's not only considered one of their aviation watches for pilots alongside the Navitimer, the Navitimer 8, some of their other watches really are, are aimed squarely at pilots. But this one is uh, interesting because it is water resistant to 300 meters a uh, thousand feet. So it certainly could be considered a watch that can dive, snorkel, swim, anything underwater like that. Uh, it's extremely rugged, very muscular and manly, and uh, just such a durable looking design that it would be at home for any kind of adventures on land as well. But it's really aimed at the pilots who are uh, taking things to new heights. Uh, when they came out with this watch in 2001, it had all sorts of different reference numbers. Uh, at one point in the catalog, there were 43 different Avengers in the catalog, which is why there are so many different combinations. If you look on our website, the fact that we sell watches, you know, Avengers all the way from 2001 to, to the current issue, um, that's why there's so many different combinations on the site. So I can't really give you any hard and fast rules about this is what is always an Avenger, an Avenger 2, a Super Avenger, and a Super Avenger 2. So we're gonna go over some details, but really my recommendation is pick the one that you like the way it looks because you're the one that's going to be looking at it regardless of what the specific features of the one you choose are. Uh, it really is the aesthetic of a really bold, robust watch that's really durable and really masculine, really equipped for any kind of uh, adventure you might throw at it. So we'll start with the Avenger. Uh, like I said, it came out in 2001. The whole line was updated in 2019. It was sort of relaunched when George Kern, the CEO of Breitling, tried to sort of clean up the line a bit. And they relaunched it with, uh, I think, 13 or 14 references instead of 43, which uh, I think was probably a, a lot better for their distribution and sales and for the consumer that's choosing the, the best watch. But the Avenger, when you look at this one, you can see that clearly the layout is a Valjoux 7750 layout with the subdials at six, nine, and 12, the date at three. Uh, it is a, a Breitling uh, modification of a ETA Valjoux 7750 movement. So it's one of those workhorse, bulletproof, fantastic movements that's in the watch world, uh, been used by virtually every watch company at some point in the past. It's in a very robust case. Uh, it's a 43 millimeter case. It's about 16 millimeters thick. And I really could recommend this watch to even uh, the smaller wrists among us. Uh, my wrist isn't real big, but to me, this 43 millimeter, it's kind of that uh, Goldilocks size. It's not too big, not too small. It's really the right size for uh, just about any wearer. The crystal is sapphire and it's AR coded front and back. One of the interesting things about this watch is that on the case back, it has, they always try to do something that is useful on the back of a Breitling. This one has a conversion scale where you can convert uh, liters and gallons and all sorts of things that gives you the conversion factor. So uh, you find yourself uh, motoring around Europe and you're wondering how many gallons that liter is. You can whip off your watch and see the conversion factor and you know, type those figures into the calculator on your smartphone, I suppose. But um, the layout of the dial again on this one is really cool because a lot of the watches that you'll see in this series, the bezel, not only does it have the big rider tab so it's easy to manipulate the bezel with gloved hands, but you'll see a, a bit more of the numbering. Now this, again, it's not a hard and fast rule, some of the Avengers have all the numbers. Some of the, most of the Super Avengers don't, but some of the Super Avengers do. So I can't tell you, just look for this and you'll always know which one you're looking at. Um, the 
pushers are not screw down, but the crown is. So the chronograph's ready to go all the time. The bracelet is of course the high polish one that you're used to from Breitling along with the deployant buckle. And then we look at the Super Avenger. And when you look at the Super Avenger, it's essentially the same layout watch, but wow, what a difference about five millimeter makes. Um, the Super Avengers take over where the Avenger leaves off. The Avengers typically are between 43 and 45 millimeter, and they're typically either stainless steel or DLC coated titanium. Same with the Super Avenger, except they're usually closer to 48 or 49 millimeter. Um, typically the same movement as the Caliber 13 from Breitling, which is the 7750 based movement. Very similar layout, uh, same water resistance rating, same kind of conversion scale on the back, same look and aesthetic, but it's almost 19 millimeters thick. It looks like when you look down at it, it looks like there's a mile between the crystal and the dial. And you just look at this thing and think, wow, what a absolute hefty Schwarzenegger Humvee kind of looking watch um, on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It's a bit big, but I mean, I could carry it. Um, I would feel personally more at home with the Avenger than the uh, Super Avenger, but I get a lot of clients that call that they're just sick of these 40 millimeter sport watches from other companies. You know who I'm talking about. Um, and they just feel like compared to a real manly watch that a 40 millimeter sport watch just does not cut it. And so when they see this watch on the wrist, this is really what they're looking for. If they're looking for a really robust, really strong presence. I mean, the watch kind of says, look, I'm here to do business and I'm here to do it right now. And uh, I'm there even before you are. So uh, whether you like the Avenger or the Super Avenger, there's something in here for everyone because it incorporates essentially an aviation watch, a land adventure watch, an, uh, an ocean adventure watch, all in one. This really could be your one all around watch that you could use for everything. A lot of people call me and say, okay, you know, I've got, you know, the X, Y, and Z watches, but I really want something I can wear every day that's a little bit more under the radar, not as uh, attention getting as uh, you know, my Nautilus or something like that. And they, they want something that they can wear and enjoy. They know it's going to take whatever kind of abuse they can give it. And uh, at the same time, it's not going to uh, tempt someone to hit them over the head for it. Uh, so a lot of times the Avenger, Avenger, a Super Avenger is going to fit that perfectly. Um, I'm not saying that they look inexpensive because they don't. They're definitely a luxury watch item. Um, but when you look at it, you know, you don't think that this is a hundred thousand dollar watch. So uh, give us a call. We'll be happy to, to help you out. We'll show it to you on FaceTime, let you look at things on the wrist. Uh, we love doing the virtual tours here at Swiss Watch Expo, where we can show you the store and the service center and, uh, how the watches are authenticated, serviced, re-oiled, the gaskets changed, timed, tested, and ready to go by the time you see them on the website. Uh, give us a call. Our email is info at swisswatchexpo.com and we're happy to answer any and all questions you might have.